Hello, I'm Judge Jennifer Johnson. I am sitting here in McHenry County Circuit Court, part of the 22nd Judicial Circuit, and I'm actually in the physical courtroom, courtroom 102, where traffic court is held. Today, I'd like to talk to you about what happens when you make a first court appearance or um, make your first appearance when the case is up for plea. That generally happens at an 8.30 or 1.30 time slot. And when cases are up for plea, I usually hear one of three things happen. I'm going to tell you about those three things. It doesn't mean that you must do one of these three things, but this is what I usually see. Either a request for continuance, plea of not guilty, or plea of guilty. If you request a continuance, what you're really asking for is another court date. So if I grant that, then you'll receive another court date, need to make another court appearance, and let me know how you want to handle your matter on that next date. If you plead not guilty, that tells me you're not admitting any violation, and I will set the matter for a trial. Now, if it's a bench trial, that's a trial before the judge, as opposed to a jury, that trial would occur here in courtroom 102. Our trials for criminal and quasi-criminal matters are heard in person at the courthouse. And so you would be responsible to come ready to go on your trial date. That may mean that you would be required to, for instance, subpoena witnesses or otherwise arrange for your witnesses to be here. You would need to have your exhibits, if you choose to use any, ready to go. If you do not appear on your trial date ready to go, then that is considered a waiver of your rights and in all likelihood a conviction would enter. So if you do plead not guilty, please be certain to make note of and be here on your trial date promptly ready to go. If you choose to plead guilty, then that's an admission to the violation, and so there is no trial. Instead, I'll enter a sentencing order. The sentencing order has two basic parts. The money part involves a fine as well as an assessment. The fine amount, generally speaking, is an amount within my discretion. Many of the cases I hear involve petty offenses, and the fines for petty offenses currently range between $75 and $1,000. Illinois vehicle code violations that are considered minor traffic violations are punishable by a minimum fine of $25. The court shall not waive that minimum fine in minor traffic violation cases. The assessment is not set by the court, it is set by the legislature. And currently, the amount of the assessment for minor traffic offenses is set at $226. The remainder of the sentencing order deals with your case disposition. There are two dispositions I deal with most frequently. Those are conviction or supervision. Supervision is a type of deferred sentence, and so if you complete that period of supervision successfully, your record will reflect a satisfactory or successful supervision. That is the result most people tell me they want, thinking that it keeps them in a good relationship with their insurance company and in a good relationship with the folks at the Secretary of State's office. The Secretary of State's office is where your driver's license issue, and the Secretary of State's office also has the ability to take action against your license, including suspending or revoking that license. Not everyone who appears before me is eligible for supervision, but if you are eligible for supervision, I will consider using it in your case. Please do give some thought to how you want to proceed on your first court appearance before you get to court. Thanks so much.